Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. I hope you all had a wonderful Yom Tov, a wonderful holiday. And here we are, we just finished the completion of the Torah, so we're starting again. This week's parasha, the first, is Parsha's Bereshis in the beginning. And we are brought to the story of Adam in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve are both there, and there's many, many trees, and there are two unique trees. One was the Eitz Hadas, the tree of knowledge, and the other one was the Eitz Hachayim. And just parenthetically, the Torah tells us that the Eitz Hachayim was Beso Chagan, in, right in the center of the garden. And one of the lessons we learn from there that anytime something is important or if truthful, it's always hidden, it's always hard to get to, and you got to peel away the layers to get to the truth. But these two trees were there, and Hashem told them very specifically, you can eat from all the trees of the garden, but there's just one tree that I do not want you to eat from. And that tree was the tree of knowledge. Now, as the expression goes, stolen waters are sweet. Anytime something is forbidden to you, that's when you want it. Or when you can't have something, that's when you want it. A very simple idea is, is if you really, really wanted a toy when you were a kid. Okay, so by the time you got it, within a week, it was usually in the basement and to start collecting dust. Or you wanted an incredible video game. So you played for a week or two and it's finished. There's a certain allure to something once it is forbidden. And the tree was a very, very beautiful tree. The fruits were incredibly beautiful. And the serpent eventually convinced Eve that she should eat from the tree of knowledge, from the tree of knowledge. And she eventually took from it and she ate from it. And um, she gave to her husband, Adam, to eat as well. And the Torah says that she saw that the food was incredibly beautiful to the eyes. So that teaches us is that sometimes our eyes strays up to the things that they shouldn't. And we know, unfortunately, the downfall of what happened. Because they sinned, they brought the original sin to the world, and they brought death to the world. And what the lesson we have to learn from over here is very, very, very clear. Everybody should know. After they ate from the tree of knowledge and they realized their downfall, what they had done, they missed out on this opportunity. They, and Adam is thinking to himself, such a fool. The tree of life is right there. I could have eaten from that tree and I could have lived forever. There wouldn't have been any sin. Instead, I followed my eyes and my wife followed her eyes. And instead of doing the correct thing, we got duped by our eyes and we got duped by sin. We got duped by the allure. Instead, we took that. Instead of living forever, instead of having a, an incredible experience of living completely on this earth with Hashem all the time, eventually he, because he brought death instead. And one day, we will all say the same thing because we will all forsake, we are all, we are all forsaking in good part the tree of life. And the tree of life is the life in the world to come, which is forever. And all we have to do is do X amount of mitzvos, as many as we can. And Hashem is saying, take from all the mitzvos, but there are certain things I do not want you to do. Don't eat from these particular fruits. And many people are throwing away the life that will actually be forever, just for a few trivial years here on this earth. That's not what we're here for. We're here to do exactly what Hashem wants. We're here to eat from the certain trees that He tells us to eat. And why should we let such an incredible opportunity waste away? So instead of looking at the trees of, that are lure you, look at the tree of life and hold on to life. Grab life by the horns, like they say. So do that, and life will be good in this world and in the next world. I will talk to you next week. Thanks for listening.